All right, guys, so Dragon Ball Legends announced some pretty interesting updates you guys might have missed in reveals and stuff. So we're going to be recapping it. I know a lot of people are mad about a certain update, which we're going to touch on that in just one bit. But overall, I am pretty satisfied, man. Uh, comment down below. Is there anything you guys don't like or do like from the reveals and stuff? I'll be going over everything here in case you guys might have missed something, but let's not waste any time. And by the way, a few things to note. Um, I will be going live tonight to summon for Ultra Janimba, so stop by at 11 p.m. Pacific time when the reset happens. So, uh, yeah, it'd be pretty cool uh, for us to summon together. And uh, number two, what was number two? Oh, yeah, like and subscribe. So, all right, guys, let's not waste any time. So, the update that people don't like is the godly rank equipment. Now, when I first saw this, and you know what's really crazy? You guys might be thinking I'm capping about this right now, but I'm really not. I was just thinking about a level beyond Z plus equipment two days ago. I I, sh I swear, I prom and I, I'm not a swear type of guy. I promise you guys, I really was, like I woke up and I was thinking about it. It's like, it's like one of those sixth sense things, right? So really crazy stuff that we're actually gonna get this, but a lot of people are mad about this. Now, this is just a visual thing, but people are still mad. Now, uh, why would people be mad about this, you know, if it's just a visual thing, you know? Number one, I want to know a few things. People shouldn't be mad about this, stating that their equipment sucks now because this does not diminish whatever they, they farmed, right? It's still valuable, whatever they farmed. But why people are, are actually mad is because it, the first slot, especially with Awakened Equipment, it's not worth to re-roll for a high gold slot. Um, so they just roll for a very high green slot, a good enough green slot, and then they use all their racers on the last two slots. So they have two really busted slots, which is number one, uh, number two, and number three, the, the last two slots, right? And they actually chase visuals. They like to cha chase visuals. Now, what, what if they do, like, if they would have known about this uh, Godly Awakened equipment or uh, ranked equipment, they would have probably just, you know, not have chased, uh, you know, bad green slots. So that's why they're mad. But at the end of the day, it's just visuals. I do like it. I know uh, some people are mad. I get why they're mad though. Um, now, something really interesting is Legends Limited Z abilities. I made a video about this a month ago. Okay. So I warned you guys that this was going to come before the Legends Festival and boom, here we are at the Legends Festival. Now, most of the stuff will be updated mid-November, which is right before the Legends Festival, guys, okay? So let me just really quick read what this Legends Limited Z ability is, but they did mention that some of these stuff are still subject to change, so uh, let's just read what they have. It says here, abilities applied by Legends Limited battle members to allies. So these are just battle members. It's not just, you know, um, from what Toshi specified from, from what I remember in reveals and stuff, is that it would only count if you bring in the battle members. Now, um, it goes on to say here, the example is to boost to allies, applies strike and blast attack and base strike and blast defense. Now, um, it goes on to say, Legends Limited Z abilities would only be applicable at uh, six stars. So you have to have your LF at six stars for you to get this limited Z ability. That's what it's called. It's called limited Z ability, right? Um, and higher stars, it would be granted as an attack buff against a specific tag, for example, Lineage of Evil. So this is still very unclear. Maybe it's maybe it's good to start building LF teams, guys. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be very interesting to see exactly how this is gonna pan out. It's definitely gonna sh it's definitely gonna make you think twice about building your team in the future. So once this comes out in a month, mid November, because right now we're mid October. You guys already know I'll have full coverage and setups for this. So make sure you guys follow along here with you, uh, with me uh, here on my channel. Um, I'm just trying to get through everything really fast. I have a list. So um, next up, I'm really excited for this World Challenge Raid. For the love of God, please let this come out today. If the, and, and by the way, I'll be coming out with leaks in uh, four hours from now. So stay tuned with, with me in four hours. Uh, but I really want this to come out because we are going to be getting, we are going to be getting, the equipment bonanza and the equipment bonanza is useless if we don't have erasers and this is the main source of erasers so yeah hopefully we get the world challenge right today and we can get crystals of course as well as legends limited multi z power 
Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited for this. You know, um, I'm a huge, oh my, I'm, I'm gonna grind every single piece of eraser. <laughs> I, might, I might just do it on stream, I, I, I promise you guys. I will grind every single piece of eraser here. I really need it. Um, okay, the Films Strike Back events. This is a tournament event. Stays forever, very similar to the movies one, all the future one, the DB one that we just got. And the characters are very simple. It's like the Turtles, the Bojack, and like two other, you know, uh, kind of older characters. And um, yeah, you guys can take your time with this one. 600 racers, 60, uh, I mean, I'm so sorry. 60 racers, 600 crystals. Uh, but yeah, it stays forever, so you can take your sweet time. Now, we are getting a lot of Janimba love because we are going to be getting Zenkai Red Janimba. He's going to be buffing movies, okay? Now, this is our second movies buffs um, for this campaign, which we got a green movies buff as well as a red movies buff. This kind of did takes and tells me that we're, we might be getting something related to red movies or at least green movies for sure. Uh, that's what that's what we need in movies, in my opinion, uh, besides Orange Pickle, right? But I think we might be getting something green related, maybe a green LF, um, a green LF Super Gogeta perhaps, right? Because we, we already have a normal Super Gogeta from the Janimba uh, movie, which is Zenkai now, the old one. We also have an Ultra one, but we don't have an LF, so perhaps an LF towards the end of the month on the 28th where it's going to be revealed for the Breakers. Um, I know, the Breakers, right? The Breakers, first year anniversary, where every single Dragon Ball game, or most Dragon Ball games, such as Dragon Ball Legends, Dokkan Battles, Universe 2, and Dragon Ball The Breakers, will all combine together with their producers and reveal something about their game. So I think that's pretty cool. I don't have full coverage here on my channel, but yeah, Red Janimba, that's pretty cool too. I'm excited for the Blue Janimba, right? Um, two more things here, guys. Uh, we are able to sort titles and once again i have six cents because i was just thinking about this um, i was scrolling through my titles trying to find that trick-or-treat title the halloween title to rock you for halloween uh but i couldn't find it it was just taking so long i have so many titles i'm a day one player i was like i wish we can uh, favorite these things i really wish we can favorite these things so yeah, I mean, now we can actually at least sort them by order received, which is better than nothing. So this is pretty cool too, I guess. Um, and down here, this is a little guild update. I know, right? Guild updates, th those two words don't go hand in hand. But here we are, guild updates. I mean, honestly, this is pretty cool where you can see who cheered for you. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a little competition expecting a cheer back. If you don't cheer me, you best believe I ain't cheering you <laughs> type of thing, right? I mean, it's facts, right? Uh, I'm, I'm kidding. But, um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, that's pretty cool too. Also, a brand new unique equipment uh, coming out tonight, which is going to be the Blue Region equipment, spe specifically, you know, made for, you know, the brand new Ultra Blue Geneva, right? Now, with this equipment here, I would advise you guys, if you guys are planning on using a full region team with Ultra Geneva, to use this equipment as well, which has 6% to either Blast or Strike Pure Attack, not Base either blast or strike attack pure these are pure stats so if you guys are building a region team 18 percent to strike attack is absolutely crazy plus a 16 percent up here and some defense this one is a must farm as well as this one which has insane insane defense as well as an extra 20 percent to blast attack so but here you get 15 percent to strike defense which is pure stats as well and on top of that you guys can use the brand new um equipment that we're gonna get tonight so i'm sure this one's gonna be pretty good too but yeah guys that's pretty much gonna wrap it up comment down below what do you guys think about this godly um um update equipment there's a lot of mixed feelings about this one and i get why there is mixed feelings so yeah i mean yeah it is what it is we'll find out tonight or mid to october mid uh, november yeah but i'll keep you guys updated tonight with uh more leaks and updates in a few hours so stay tuned with that with your notifications and i'll love to catch you guys then have a good one peace